Donald Trump is in gargantuan legal trouble right now. You know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. And even top conservative lawyers are arguing that what we've seen from Donald Trump and all the sources around him are the best chance to put him away for years thus far. That out of all the crimes he's been doing and he's ordered his people to do over years, if not decades, the story around his destruction of documents is the biggest, brightest chance to throw this goon behind bars at notes here. Truax pointed out that Trump's well-documented history of document destruction gives prosecutors more than a one-off criminal violation that would allow them to use 18 USC section 2071, which carries the penalty of up to three years in jail if found guilty. Writing Trump's habit of hand-shredding federal documents places him in the greatest legal danger yet. The attorney suggested that if the Department of Justice is willing, they already have a hand in a solid case to bring against the former president. First, this behavior was extensive and extremely well documented. It apparently went on throughout his entire presidency. And it goes on to note that hundreds, if not thousands, or even tens of thousands of documents were destroyed directly by Donald Trump's hand or by his orders, telling staff, telling his goonies to destroy, flush, burn, shred, do whatever to documents that were incriminating and or embarrassing to him. And this is why he was hiding stuff at Mar-a-Lago. In addition to the destruction, the theft and hiding of the documents is a major part of all of this, which is why it's especially galling that he's still breaking the law. We've forgotten about this somewhat because there was all the news about how he handed over the 15 boxes, but he has not given everything yet. He is still barricading himself down in Mar-a-Lago in Florida. Florida, hiding documents, refusing to hand them over because the only language Donald Trump understands is threat. He only understands bullying and threats. And so the only reason he handed over those first 15 documents, the first 15 boxes was because they threatened him with charges and criminal referrals. And then he handed some of them over, but he still hasn't done it all yet, which means, and I want to read you a really convincing appeal to this. You need to bring Bring the hammer down. The cops need to kick the door down, go in and get the papers, or at the very least, this needs to be used to directly charge Trump through the J6 committee and through any other applicable body to get the information that they need. It says, Trump ignores laws and only responds to threats. The records disputed is an example of Trump's new reality. He has no authority to do anything. Without the power and the immunity that comes with the presidency, Trump is vulnerable to the power and the weight of the federal government. Government. The J6 committee has shown how effective congressional investigations can be when they are willing to use their power. No one else should steal, could steal classified documents and then refuse to turn them over. Donald Trump must be treated like every other person who commits crimes against the country and be dealt with accordingly. This man is not responding to reason. He is not responding to decency. He is not responding to an appeal that as president, the records he holds are incredibly important and both belong to future generations. He will only respond to threats against him and his money and his freedom and his power. They need to do the right thing and criminally charge him and get those documents back because not only is it an issue of Donald Trump's crimes, it's an issue of his presidential legacy, which will be monstrous and the wider American history.